Um, they're, they're really popular and they're cool. They look cool. I know it's hard to wear them because I actually have a fedora too and I'm like, put it on and I'm like, I don't know. And sometimes I'll be bold enough to leave the house in it, but if it was heated, I would probably feel even cooler with it, so I might wrap my fedora. Um, but it is challenging. So if you're making it for yourself, make sure you wear it because you're going to spend a lot of time working on it. But if you're making it for somebody else, that's exciting too. I know there is a teaching about meeting that you, your first project you should give away to somebody. So that's something you could think about doing as well. Um, but just a little bit about me. Um, let's see. Right now, I'm really busy. So I'm happy to be able to take the time to do this. But I am a doctoral student. And I also work a full-time job from home with my two kids who are six and four. Um, and you know, in the fall, I also teach online. So I'm happy that I have this couple of weeks to work with you guys so that more fedoras can be walking around the community because I think they're really cool. So um, I've been beating for, like seriously, for about maybe 12 years. Um, but before that, I kind of played with stuff, learned about it. These fedoras are really, like, I was talking to those ladies back there, they've done rad casts. It's the same stitch. So pretty easy. This material is part felt and part polyester. So it, you get through it really fast, like pedaling. It's really easy to get through. I love to do bee work. I just don't have a lot of time to do it all the time lately, but I've still been able to open up my Instagram and my Facebook, so I still kind of have like a side, side hustle of beading, but it's really limited. Like, I probably do two projects a month at the most. Um, so, yeah. But I'm happy to show you this. Um, of course, like we know, it's a more contemporary style, uh, but it's a really easy, easy stitch to do. And once you get going on it, you're like, wow! Um, there are different ways to approach it. So you've chosen your colors, and I told Maria that we want to work with like a base color and then have some accent colors. So the base color you picked is like that full hank that you got in your kit, and then you have your accent colors. So you can decide tonight if you want to come up with a design. If you're like more a mathematical person and you like to like draw it out, I brought some graph paper and some colored pencils so you could do that. But if you're like me, who just does it like off the fly, I just start my thing and I go, we can also do that. Um, sometimes I'm more, like I do more of a method where I'll do, okay, I want green on this side, so I'm gonna make sure green is on this side too, and then I fill it in. But other times I just fly by the seat of my pants because I can only get in a few stitches at a time between feeding my kids and answering an email, so. But I still get it in because it's really fun and meditative and I think beadwork is really important to our mental health. I think it really helps be meditative. So that's kind of my philosophy on continuing art. I also have a background in art. Um, I received my Bachelor of Fine Arts in 2005 at um, UW-Madison. So I am a painter, but I haven't been able to paint for like 20 years or something. Well, not that long, but yeah. So.
If you're not there yet, don't get worried. I'll come over and check out. But if you're ready, you can, because you don't have to use your beads on yet. You don't want to have your beads on it, in fact. Take your needle, which is a size 12 sharps needle, which is my favorite. Not because it picks up a lot of beads, but because you can get it through really fast. Okay. So take your needle. It's supposed to be a needle. And put it through. I would go like in the center. Sorry to call this right, but go in the center of either the side or the top or the bottom. You can start in the center. If you're gonna start on the side, that's fine, but start in the center of the side. If you're gonna start at the top, that's fine, but start in the center of the top. We go before that little bit. Start here, 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 or here. Pick a center. That's how you're gonna make sure it matches up. Center. Yep. Then yep. we put it through here. Yep. And then it goes through the top. Yep. Coming out the seams at the top. Okay. 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 Yep. Okay. Yep. And then I'll hide your knot in that little space. Yep. Just like that. So would you count it first? The 16 and then? No, sometimes I just pick up, like, because it's such a short needle, sometimes I'll go, oh, four, eight. You know, I'll pick up four at a time. Okay. because I want to end it so I'm going to poke through anywhere really I come to the bottom this is going to be like say this is all beads it's going to be next to the place where it's all beads because we're going to bead over that so we, that will hide it so now we're on the bottom and we're going to kind of pull it a little oops, pull it a little taut so that we can get our thumb Right next to the fabric where all the pieces meet. Okay. And then our knot will be right on the fabric. Okay. And then we can cut it or we can go into the lip. And this one's a little bit more tricky. Just to hide that tail a little better. And then we pull it really tight and we cut it. And I'll go back in a little bit. And, and then I'll beat over that and you'll never be able to see it.